Even though we see characters on the screen, all the values stored in char data types by the computer are numerically based. There are two coding systems associated with representing character data in a computer, ASCII and Unicode. We'll focus on the ASCII set as it is encoded using a single byte of data, meaning there are fewer options for us to fuss over. Look at the table and notice the number ranges for both the lowercase and uppercase letters. The decimal values 65 through 90, for instance, are mapped to the capital letters. We, when we store an A into a char type, the computer sees this as the number 65. Storing letters as numbers becomes interesting when you perform math operations on char types. You can, for instance, change all capital letters to lowercase simply by adding 32. We can demonstrate that by looking at the lines of code on this slide. We take two char variables holding the letters C and S respectively and then add 32 to each and print out the result. A char can also be concatenated to a string type to form a longer string. In this case the character is promoted to the string type and placed at the end of the existing string. It's important to keep in mind that you can use char types based on their integer representations, and this may indeed be useful when you're manipulating text in a program. Up next, we're going to look at the Boolean type.